Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll look at the inserting existing points command in the Traverse view. Let's start with the sample file called Learn Kogo. I've opened it here. And I'm going to open the Traverse Manager, double click a blank line to start a new Traverse. And let's call this Insert Existing Points. We'll pick the Traverse view format and the Traverse settings that we want and choose OK. And I'm going to make this one line per point. And let's take a look at that command. It's edit, insert existing points. And Traverse PC opens a dialog down here with a number of options for us. And I want to just start at the top. And let's take a look at some of these options and how this command works. I'm going to open up the points manager and select points 2-1 through 2-15. Notice that the what list here synchronizes with the selection I just made and tells me the default option here is 15 selected items in the point manager. So I can select what, choose OK, and Traverse PC says I found 15 items and it inserted those points for me into this Traverse. Now you may have noticed that I had a temporary point. Each Traverse has to have at least one point when it's open. Uh, Traverse BC inserted these 15 selected points and got rid of that temporary point for me. And now I have a Traverse with just those 15 points uh, ready to go. Don't worry if we went kind of fast there for you. We're going to use a number of options from that dialog. And the sequence is pretty much the same with each option. So let's go ahead and select all these points and delete them. Again, Traverse PC returns that one temporary point that each Traverse has to start with. And let's repeat that command, insert existing points. This time, let's open the Traverse Manager, and let's select that same Traverse from the Traverse Manager. Notice that this dialog again synchronizes with our selection, and this time the what list says entire Traverse Foundation 2. So let's click OK. Traverse PC tells us it found 15 points. And the Traverse view shows us again those same points for the um, foundation on lot two. Let's go ahead and select all, delete those. Let's go back to that dialog, insert existing points. Now let's take a look at another option. This time, let's come over to the Traverse Manager. And I'm going to first untag all the Traverses. And then I'm going to come back and just tag Foundation 2 and Foundation 3. So these are the only two traverses being drawn here. Notice again that I've selected these, so I'm going to just click one of the others to show that when we tag traverses, we don't automatically update the what list as far as the default option here. So I have to tell Traverse BC that I want the two tagged items in the Traverse Manager. When I select items in a Point Manager or a Traverse Manager, it synchronizes automatically and that becomes the default item for the what list. But when I tag items, I have to actually select it manually. So now I've got the two tagged items in the Traverse Manager. I'm going to choose OK. This time Traverse PC found 28 items. And we see that here are all the points for the foundation on lot 2, 2-1 through 2-15. Right below that are all the points for the foundation on lot 3, 3-1 through 3-13. So again, Traverse PC brought in all the points based on that selection. Let's go ahead and once again delete all those, return to our one temporary point, and let's come back into that dialog again, insert existing points. Let's take a look now at a new option for version 14 release 2, which uh, came out in October of 2014. This option lets us select objects from a drawing view. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. And we're going to work with this same foundation here. Uh, notice I've got the Insert Existing Points dialog open. And I'm just going to use the Select command and window around the same foundation here. So I've just selected those objects. I'm going to right click to tell it I'm all done selecting. And look what I have over here in the Insert Existing Points dialog. 14 selected objects in the Learn Kogo drawing. I'm going to choose OK. 
and Traverse BC says it inserted 15 objects. Now, I selected 14 lines in the drawing, but there's a closing point in there, so that's the extra point. So I actually have found 15 points. And what Traverse BC did is it looked at the objects that were selected in the drawing, in this case, the foundation for lot two there, and it said those drawing objects, those lines, reference survey points in the survey. So these are the 15 points that it actually inserted. So if I come back now and choose OK, I see that here's points 2-1 through 2-15. So we've seen in this video, I've already selected those points by selecting the, those points in the point manager, by selecting that traverse that I wanted in the traverse manager, and by selecting the objects over here in the drawing. So let's clean this back up and come in and take a look at some additional ways to um, insert existing points. Let's bring our dialog back up again. Now let's take a look at matching points. So I'm going to tell Traverse PC I want to bring in points that match something. Let's open our point manager here and I can see that I've got a number of points if I scroll down with CL or center line in the description. So let's type in that CL. Let's tell Traverse PC we want to look in the point description and let's choose find next. So Traverse BC found 10 of those points, and it brought those into the Traverse for us. Okay. I'd like to say, okay, now I want to find points that have uh, three dash, so three dash one, three dash two. Here they are in the point manager. So I may not be looking at those, and I can just say, I want to bring in the points that have three dash something in the point label. I'm not doing... Um, a whole word only. So Traverse PC is going to look for three dash something following because I don't have this checked. So let's tell it to find those. It found 13 of them. Notice that uh, Traverse PC always inserts the found points above the cursor. So I had the cursor on point nine here after the previous operation and it inserted all of the three dash points above for me. Okay, kind, kind of neat. Uh, let's go ahead and select all these, delete them, and I'm going to get rid of the find dialog and let's just move on down. Our next option here. Let, next, let's choose proximity. So I want all the points that are close to point five that we can see here on our drawing, and I want everything within 30 feet of that. Again, let's choose OK. Uh, Traverse BC found just one point and it inserted point four. So point four is the only point within 30 feet. Think how handy uh, that proximity option can be when I've got a known position and I want to search for, let's say, uh, found monuments that were close to that, or I'm uh, working in the public land survey system and I want to find the accessories that are within 100 feet or 150 feet of a found corner. Uh, lots of reasons for that proximity. It's a great little tool to have. Again, let's go ahead and select all those and delete them to reset that traverse. And let's come down now and talk about the last option, which is a range. Uh, I'm going to use the 2-1 through 2-15 points again here. And I'm going to tell Traverse BC, I want to recall from 2-1 to 2-15. Notice the title of this option says range of point labels incremented by one. So 21, 22, 23. In this case, we did 2 1. So Traverse BC parses this label out and sees that the dash one is the last number. So it's going to recall 2 1, then increment that last number and recall 2 2, 2 3, etc. Let's let it do that. It found 15 of them and brought those points into the traverse, just like we expected. Now, let's put a little twist on this. Select all these and clean it up again. Let's open that dialog back up. This time, let's just reverse the order. So I want to recall 2-15 through 2-1. What happens when we reverse the order is that Traverse PC says, oh, the two point, 2-1, two is lower than the from point, 2-15. So instead of incrementing by one, I'm going to decrement by one. So let's choose OK. Traverse BC tells us it brings in those 15 points. 
and now I see 2-15, 14, 13, 12, all the way down to 2-1. So it inserts the points, but reverses the order because of the way I specified the from and to points. Now, you're going to love this option to uh, insert existing points just because there are so many ways to do this. And uh, we think that adding this what list with the Agile Release 2 of 2014 is a great way to provide lots more ways of saying, I want this particular set of points to come into this traverse.